Hi everyone, this video is to inform you of the technique of 3D creations. There's been some confusion about assuming that it's uh, similar to paper toll or pop-up art. It really isn't. This is a totally new and different uh, process that I use and that I do. First, I start off with a piece of work that is suitable. Not all work is suitable for the technique, but this one looks like a really good one. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is the surface has been laminated already uh, to protect it from UV rays, but also for other technical reasons which will show up down the road. So what I'm going to do is take this flat image and mount it onto an inch and a half thickness material. I've already pre-laminated this and now I'm going to mount it onto the surface here as you see. The board has been pre-mounted as I said. I'm just going to score the area so that there isn't too much excessive adhesive. Now this is going to be permanently mounted down onto this surface. Take it over here to the press. This is a cold mount machine. I can increase the speed but I'd rather not. The slower the speed the more control I have of any surprises the unknown factor as I call it. So now you see the image mounted on an inch and a half of thickness material. Now you take your mounted piece and you proceed to cut out the various elements that you deem create the effect. At some point you become the artist because you decide what the work says. and you have a puzzle-like effect. Everything that I cut out is now coming out as a puzzle. And I'm going to go ahead and paint. What I'm going to do is paint the composition so that the paint carries on the work around the rocks. I'm going to paint the sides, tie on to the foreground painting. So now you position everything accordingly, roughly. You'll know, fine tune the placement of everything. So now that we have the piece uh, all assembled and the work telling us how far to push things back and how far to push things forward, we go to the matting and the framing end of it. We look for mats that would do well. 